that man. We live on the back streets with your girl Cole, man. We got my homie, man. <laughs> Came through and fuck with me, man. We are working on this good Saturday morning. I appreciate you first and foremost. But you on the back streets, man. Let everybody know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming. Back street, that's my first spot. I don't like the freeway. I like to take the back street. Defense. You know what I'm saying? But I'm true. AKA just stoner. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, at the stoner. T H A S T O N E R. Make sure y'all check out I Hustle by Any Means. That's true. Clothing line. Okay. Two singles just dropped at Get High. Part one, that's just the first part of it. Okay. I got another part I'm gonna drop very soon. I'm trying to get y'all some visuals. Though. Okay. Get yeah, high part one, man. Talk about what made you divide it up in parts instead of just give them straight like one just song. Okay, yeah. Honestly, it's like, I feel like it's too hard. A lot of people, I could I let a lot of people hear the song, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Before I released it, I had to beat it for two years before I actually finally did something with it. I was working with it, playing with it, playing with it. And I kept the heat, letting people hear it. And I was like, oh, they hurt hard, they hurt hard. Let me hop on, let me hop on. And I yeah. actually had a lot of people that was supposed to be on this song, but. What you know, happened with that? Niggas be bullshitting. <laughs> niggas be bullshitting. Yeah, how do you, I feel that. How do you uh, deal with niggas bullshitting when you trying to get this music out? Like we was talking off camera, like you just getting back stable and getting back this music shit going, man. How do you deal with that? You just gotta separate yourself, man. Mm. That's, like, that's, that's the biggest thing. You just gotta separate yourself. Like, you can't get in your feelings about it. You just gotta separate yourself and know that, okay, I gotta go whoop de whoop de whoop. I can't worry about this. Cause when I worry about this, that's distracting from what I'm really trying to do. I feel that. I, really, I feel that. I try to look at the bigger picture and things. I feel it's that. a lot of growing up, bro. A lot of me bumping my head. Yeah, I feel Good. that. I feel that still going, man. That's what life will buy, man. How did you uh, get your name, Trill the Stoner? How did that come about? Uh, the Stoner? I got that rich. Smoke weed. Smoke weed. Okay. I don't smoke as much as I used to, but I still smoke. But it's like, it just stuck. You know, I used to go to the club every weekend. Okay. And niggas ain't know my name. They knew me by my Instagram name, the Stoner. Mm -hmm. And it just, it just stuck from there. Okay. And, and Trill. That was just one of my words, and somebody was, they would always tell me, you know, you always, you, you, keep, you always keep real, nigga. Uh -huh. And it just, it's it just one person called me. Okay. Do you consider yourself like a stoner rapper, like a weed rapper, or is it just the name? Um, it's just the name, like, it's a, yeah, it's really mainly just the name. Okay. Like, you get a little bit of both. Like, it's gonna, I'm gonna have a lot of stoner music just cause, you know. Gotcha. It's stoner. Gotcha. Yeah. Do you have a favorite stoner, like a favorite artist stoner? Uh, Snoop. Snoop? Okay. Wiz. Okay, Wiz. Snoop Wiz. Yeah, okay, okay, man. Heavy, heavy ass stoners, big on that culture, man. Drop some advice for the artists that's watching, man, that you can get them. Stay consistent, bro. Like, stay consistent. Do not, you can't ride the wave. That's the thing, not riding the wave. Like, you can't. Just because what's for them not gonna be for you, and it's not be what crazy. you do, it's how you do it. Be correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay in your lane, bro. Like, it ain't nothing wrong with being in your lane. Like, nowadays, niggas think that's quote unquote lane. Like, I don't I don't understand that, because it ain't nothing wrong with being in your lane, being be yourself. Correct. Be if correct. they fuck with you, they fuck with you. If they don't, they don't. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Big facts, man. How did you get that confidence? Because a lot of artists try to, like you say, ride the way, fit in, get in where they fit in. How did you get that confidence to be like, fuck it, if I ain't in, I ain't in? Oh, showing that love and not getting that shit in return. Okay. Because where I come from, you know what I'm saying, we don't have no problem with showing love. It's, you gonna, you show love, you're gonna get that shit back. And if you do something for people, you don't expect shit in return, just know you got blessings coming. That's how I look at shit. Big really? That's how I was raised. I was raised by older people. So. Okay. Talk about that a little bit. You was raised by your uh, grandparents, bro. Yeah. Okay, talk about that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If you know me, you know I'm granny's baby. Like, I went did a little time, did 15 months or whatever. And eight days later, my grandma, she passed. And it's mm -hmm. like, from there on, I was, I was on my own. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I didn't have family. I had family, but it's like when you want to do certain shit, you got to do it on your own because of the, you know, the type of family you have. Mm -hmm. All the people. They real judgmental, you know what I'm saying? So, big facts. It's better to just work your route and do your thing. Like, it's gonna be hard. I mean, I just step in the storage unit. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't let this shit stop me. I'm gonna get up and go get this shit by any means. Like, I got I hustle. Like, 
Big facts. Every day. Big facts. You had did uh you had did some time and then you lost your grandmother. How did that affect you? Not just with the music, just all together. I mean, it was hard because I started to see shit for what it really was. You know what I'm saying? Like Meaning, see people, okay. people for who they really are. You know Family what I'm saying? Because granny, granny gonna have your back. Granny you know ain't gonna let nobody fuck with you. You, you know, know what I'm saying? And she ain't. She gonna tell you shit. One thing about my granny, she gonna tell you how it is. That's where I get that from. She gonna tell you how it is. She gonna give how you feel about it. Okay. But. It just showed me people for who they really were. I feel that. I feel that, man. I know she watching down. I'm proud of you. Uh, proud of you doing your music, man. What do you see your whole brand in the next three years? In the next three years, <coughs> definitely in my own shop. Definitely in my own shop. Like, oh, excuse me. <coughs> coming soon. Coming very soon. I have intentions on being in the shop with me, my sister, and my girlfriend. My sister, she do nails. My girlfriend, she cook her ass off. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, bring a one stop shop. You can come get your nails done, yes. come get you a whole fit, and get That's you a pity. Need. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need, man. A one stop shop. So you trying to expand the brand, do more than just yes. the average shit. I feel yeah, that. Everybody got to eat. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you eat off me, you do your own thing, but still, we still want, we still out going, hey, such and such need this. Come pull up. I need Big you to come do this. Like, Big that's, how, that's how me and my people rock. Big facts, man. Talk about money missions a little bit. I love the title, man. What was the influence behind the song? Uh, money missions. It, honestly, uh, why people I come from, I know a lot of people that used to sell it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, me being little, I'm always want to ride with him. I'm always looking like, hey, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? My uncle, he had a silver lap, silver window. That's mm. where that silver lap, silver yeah, windows yeah. come from. And that car used to be so live to me. And I'm always right, either ride with my uncle or ride with my daddy. We on, I know, not getting a quote with them, we going to get some yeah. money. You know, just going up before we smoking, you know, we should get different things, different girls. Who influenced the music, like, in particular artists that you like? Let me build, I like the storytelling, bro. Like, I don't want to make it too. too spinning the block out. I'm tired of shooting the daddy's nose, buddy, put your buddy with you, like. But what, that's a part of their story? I mean, if it's part of your story, you know what I'm saying, be creative with it, my man. You just yeah. be creative. Like, I feel that. Don't just throw something at me, bro. Okay. And yeah. have me put it together. Like, I want you to put it together. That's also with the visual. Like, yeah. That's why Make me really, you like, okay, okay. You explain that visual. You hear what they saying. Like, you see what they saying in that visual. You know what I'm saying? I feel that our storyteller is still important in rap today. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though we don't have too many people, probably, man, you from, you from Houston, right? Yeah, I'm from Houston. I'm from Hearn Club. You from Houston, Hearn Club. I know you caught wind just like everybody else with the whole Meg, Megan the Stallion situation going yeah. on with a label. Would you sign or stay independent? Nah, I would stay independent. Like, my, if, if, if this shit gets big, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I hustle in the same. Like that's right. how I look at it. You can't pay me no amount of money because then I feel like you gonna want me to change who I am. I can't really be who I wanna be mm -hmm. if I sign up with you. Like just for you Was she wrong for signing? Or no, not? She wrong. No, that's that's what she chose to do, you know what I'm saying? That's that's her life, you know what I'm saying? I feel that. That's she should have read it. <laughs> but right. you know what I'm saying? She should have been a little more prepared, but when people see that bag they Unfortunately, we see, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars in. Yeah, we gonna hop on that. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Can't be so eager. And I wish it's so eager, man. And I wish those contracts, man, just was plain and simple. Like, well, I can read this shit and know what the fuck. Yeah. Cause like I said, we don't know what the fuck we read. That's why you gotta go get right. a professional. It's too much, like right though. Yeah. They do, it, they do that for a reason. They know what they doing, bro. But it, you gotta exactly. be exactly. up here. And know, like, nah, you gotta know your worth. Pretty much. You have to. You yeah. gotta know what you bring to the table. Because I don't knock people for signing. Yeah. Whether you sign or stay independent or whatever, that's your career, that's your choice. But at the same yeah. time, build your buzz up enough so you can negotiate. At least right. come to the table with some. If you come to the table, oh, I got 200,000 followers. So, they gotta know if you can go sell shows because it's a business at the end of the day. They gotta know people how. People interact with you. Like, 
That yeah. number don't mean that. Like, tell me that all the time. Thank Numbers you. don't mean nothing to me. Like, you say I got a cool little follow, that number don't mean nothing to me. Like, do y'all really fuck with me? Or y'all gonna come right out at these shows with me? Or y'all gonna download my music, bro? Like, is y'all buying my clothing line? Like, exactly, man. Talk about the clothing line a little bit, man. You know what somebody to me, bro? Like, right now, we on, a, we on a, you know what I'm saying? We on a little break right now. We coming back in the summertime. I'm trying to give more quality, you know what I'm saying, clothing for the women, the kids, everybody. We trying to put in there because right? I feel like these kids got to hustle too. They yeah, ain't got to hustle. And I ain't one little kid don't come up to you and, can I have a dollar? Uh, can I have, like, can I have whatever you got? Can I have yes. some? Like, these kids gonna hustle you the most. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm really just trying to give the people more quality. It's really it's more than just a brand. It's a lifestyle. Man. It's a lifestyle, man. You hustle every day. Big facts. So it's just not the music, man. You got the clothes and also what else you got coming in 2020? What can we look forward to? 2020, more music, more clothing. Really. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give y'all a lot of shit. I ain't gonna say too much. Too much. Okay, you got the visuals. We gonna get a visual this year. Oh, oh yeah, for shit show. Sure. Okay. Sure. Are you open to work with all the artists, or you just keep it at home base? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm always working. You know what I'm saying? We we working. I got some new shit dropping very soon right now with uh my little nigga YPR Monte. Okay, shout out to Yeah, real high. Y'all gotta follow my boy on Instagram YPR Monte. The boy is he got some talent like. That's the young okay. nigga got some tech. Hey, you gotta bring your little man. Okay. Real humble, you know what I'm saying? And hey, y'all got some shit dropping? Real soon, you know what I'm saying? At this point, we just waiting on this truck, to be honest. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Smart way, but I don't blame you on the smart way, man. Yeah. You in the studio, what do you gotta have when you're in the studio? The top three things. Some <coughs> weed, some water, <coughs> and some type of candy. <coughs> okay. When I get high, I don't have the munchies. I need like some sour <coughs> straws or something that's going <coughs> to... For real, I need something that's going to keep the juices flowing. You know what I'm saying? Big facts, man. So y'all get sour punch straws when you're in the studio. Do you like a lot of people or you just like it? Nah, solo, don't me, know. I don't need a crowd in the studio. Okay. Like, a lot of people say they need that energy. Yeah, nah. I don't <coughs> need that energy. Like, maybe one person. It, it really... Nah, I don't, know. I don't so, need that energy. <laughs> 30 niggas in the video. Man. Yeah, I feel like everybody does that. Like, 100 niggas, 100 guns. It's like. Why do I need 30 niggas standing behind me with guns and shit? Like, nah. But my thing is, at least let those 30 niggas buy your project or go support the video. Right. I guarantee you, those niggas that be in the video don't. They not. You know what I'm saying? saying? You know what I'm saying? With the streaming cars passing your shit. Like, y'all not out here putting in that footwork with me. So I don't need y'all riding the band with Exactly. Exactly. Don't know. wait till you pop it now and all of a sudden, man, I always know you're you posting it up. I don't, I don't trip on that type of shit. I feel you're that. not out here putting the footwork in. Man. I feel that. Do you have a dream collab with anybody in the world that you want to work with? Uh, Definitely Wiz. Like, I want to get high and work with Wiz. Oh, that'll be a dope ass collab. Uh, I feel like, did I be high? <laughs> And getting that with Wiz Khalifa just uh, oh, yeah. enhanced it. I feel like, do you have a favorite strand of weed? A favorite strand? Um, jet, right now, Jet Fuel. I like okay. that Jet Fuel. Okay. okay. What it blow like? It's, it's like a body high. Okay. You get, it, it, it's real relaxing. Jet it's Fuel. Real relaxing. Oh, okay. Okay, do you prefer, what's your favorite type of cigar? Are you a Swishers, Backwoods, Dutch? What type? No, feeling? No, I'm not smoking. <laughs> okay. Why is it? So you're, you're not with the backwoods. I mean, I'll smoke them. I feel like that's a popular smoke. Like you, you just smoking it to look cool. cool. Like I'm yeah. trying to get high, bro. What? <laughs> I'm trying to get high. What? Like I'm not trying. I'm not worried about looking cool for now. Another nigga. Like I'm I don't know. That be bro. Big is my like. Why are we putting all the weed in there? You tripping? We we not gonna smoke that later. <laughs> well, I think it's you. How high can you get? You feel me? Exactly. You gonna bust your brain. Exactly. Yeah, I done had the shit high. It's like you spinning in circles. Man, like, I done did that. And you done blue hair. And then you wasting your weed. To me. But I'm saying niggas got it right there to put I feel like you wasting your weed, man. You talking about eight, nine grand? Oh, oh man. man. That's a popular smoke. Because I feel like backwoods just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Because it, it did. And I'm like, well, fuck this shit. Come on, no, like way, way back in the gap. But I'm like, it just came out of Because I remember niggas was on raw papers for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. When we just first, when we just first popped, everybody wanted to smoke raw papers in. Everybody. Wasn't nobody smoking. Papers. Niggas was smoking fucking 
Niggas was smoking good times. Uh, <laughs> <Glossy>. <laughs> <laughs> for real, Supreme. 